Okay, so I think I've got this figured out now. I've got uh, video capture and uh, voice overlay that I can do all at the same time, and for not too bad a data price. Um, I was trying fraps, fraps, just if you try and do good quality video and do sound on top of it, it's just like unbelievably huge files. I mean, I was looking at like 20 to 40 gigabytes. That's just not usable. So, uh, I think I finally figured out how to get like some of these old games that are on video, but I don't have them in the replay format. But I can get them recorded and do some overlays on them. Uh, I know some of the videos that I put up, I got the gameplay, but I wasn't able to do voiceovers because I didn't know how to do it because they were already recorded as video. And uh, Media Maker, Movie Maker, that one just does not work very well as far as video quality and sound. So I tried that, played around with that, didn't like it. But now I've got Shadow Play with NVIDIA. It comes with the NVIDIA experience, so if you have an NVIDIA card, it's part of their whole program system, works really, really well. I get good quality video, got good quality sound built on top of it. And uh, yeah, so it seems like we're getting some good videos to make here. So I'm sitting in IS-3, we're on defense. Found myself a nice defense position, protected by this overhang from artillery. And uh, not quite a hold down position, which is what this tank really needs, because it has a strong turret. The front, everybody likes to make a big deal out of it because, oh, it's so bouncy because it's got the pike nose, it's got all those angles on it. Yeah, but it's really thin, and anything that's tier 8 or above can pretty much penetrate it easily. Lower tiers, sure, they'll bounce, but most anybody else can penetrate it without a problem. So, I used to be just sitting up here doing some spotting. There's uh, supposed to be a cluster of guys behind me that are backing me up. And they do all right. That IS-3 up there, he's pretty good. He causes some trouble. We got this Kanarva behind me. He's... Yeah, I don't want to say anything bad about him, but he doesn't make the best decisions on how to play his tank. But this guy right here, this T-43, statistically, he's a bad player. But I don't know if it's just because he's experienced or what. It shows him red with low stats, poor stats. And he makes some bad decisions. His first two times, pops out here, side on really expose himself, we gets hit twice, practically dead. Meanwhile, I'm getting hit from this IS-3, and I'm half dead, and I can't get any hits onto him, and so finally, there's a good hit. And on this T-43, he's going to do something that's pretty, almost brilliant. Look at what he does. He knows he's dead. He knows he's useless. He can't do any damage. He's got to be So he puts himself out there, turns sideways, and basically makes himself into a barrier that that IS-3 can get behind and just sit there and be hauled down. And look at that, you can't touch him except for his turret. And his turret is too strong to penetrate. So I'm looking at this thinking, okay, forget this. I'm half damaged. He's got a great defensive position. It's time for that Canarva to do something. And yeah, he just keeps sticking himself out there to get shot. There's way too many hits, so I'm sitting back here saying, what can I do? Oh, look at that. T-29, not paying attention. I'll take damage. shots like that all day, thank you. And Canarvin, didn't do much, but got hit a lot, so he's backing off. T-29 finally sees me. Too late. Canarvin's had enough. He wants to hide behind the rock again. I'm waiting for this T-29 to come out. Ah, missed that shot. He's shooting gold. Because, you know, his first two shots bounced, so he's like, I gotta do something. Kind of cheap. Not really liking the gold thing. I know it's useful at times, but some people really overuse it. I'm kind of nervous. I guess three, move up. No. Boom, got the T29. Look at it. I'm just as badly damaged as you are. I might as well you didn't play your tank very well. Look at him, side on. He's pulling out there, showing his side to the enemy. And he's trying to pretend he's a medium, dodging in and out like this. I'm trying to side scrape, just showing my side so I can maybe get track shots or bounces. He's showing his side flat on. Easy penetration, easy damage. He's gonna get himself killed doing that. There we go. 
steps. Called it. Okay, so now it's me. There's a Tiger P behind me, a T32 way behind me, and I've got, I don't know what's in front of me, an IS-3, a Tiger II, and who knows what else might be coming up. The score's pretty even. But now I see, hey, you know what? I can use this Canarva the same way they were using that T-43. I can pull up and just show my turret. And it works. Until the IS-3 decides he can do the same thing. And uh, it works for him, too. So, Tiger 2 is out of the picture. Okay, so now I've got to figure out what am I going to do with this IS-3. And I see, look, his back end is exposed. Target so I sweep around here. Did not do damage, but I did track him, which was probably useful. But he didn't do any damage to me, so that was good. So, so but that move right there, that was like a medium tank sweep around, catch up on the flank move. And I pulled that off in a heavy tank, which is pretty cool. So now looking at okay, we've got some guys trying to roll in here. Most of the guys were behind me are pretty much dead. I don't know what happened to them. Ready to fire. They got sniped out or something. So I'm coming over here to give them some support, back it up. Penetration. Got the centurion, nice. Now here's where I make a misplay. I see that tiger two over there and I start to question what I should do. The centurion's back behind the rock. If I had stayed here like five more seconds and just waited for him. He's gonna pop out, I could take a shot, and I'd be zoomed in, and he'd be out of the picture. But I don't, I get antsy. And I'm thinking I'm the only person over here. I've gotta hold off the Centurion, I've gotta hold off the Tiger. So, I don't know what to do. And I make a display and I stick myself out here, explode. and I get that hit. One didn't go through. And the Centurion gets away. Now I'm stuck in the open, stuck between these two. And I have no good choices anymore. I had one good choice. I missed it. Now I'm in a bad position. I've got to make the best of it that I can, so... Alright. Get going. That M4 is moving up. Maybe I can get something with him. Permission to engage. Target on. And, okay. Got There's still that Centurion. There's still a Tiger. Not really sure what I should be doing right here, and so I just kind of hesitate again. And this vehicle is already makes the decision for me. But you know what? That wasn't a bad game. I got five kills, did over 3,700 damage, held that side pretty well, and our team was able to hold them off. The west side did really well. East side took a lot of damage, but we're able to hold off most of them. They only have a minute 45 left, and they don't have the they don't have the hit points and the firepower to take on the rest of our tanks and knock them out in the time that's remaining. Because we've got a Tiger II and a Yag Tiger 88 and an IS who are pretty much full health. That's four heavies against their one plus a medium. Yeah, they're not going to be able to do it. But they give it a go. I mean, you give them that. They try. SU-101 keeps trying to push forward, but he keeps taking hits. The Centurion moves in, see what he can do, but he's going to go down. But it's kind of a lost cause. The Tiger II should know it, especially when he sees that Centurion. It should be okay. You know, he's disappeared. He's off the screen. Good decision now. Should be hide. Save your tank. Don't do anything dumb. Just let time run out. Forty-five seconds left. He should be safe. It's just him and the Artie. The Artie did all right. Got two kills. I'm not sure what his total damage was, but he got two kills. Not bad for Artie. I've played the M44 and not had that kind of good luck with it. Me and Artie don't get along very well. So you think the Tiger II is going to sit and hide, or is he going to make one last dash for glory? Yep, he's going for glory. So it comes out, 15 seconds left, gets a hit on the IS. You know, he's got a good position there. Lots of stuff in front to protect him, but not enough. And he bites it in the end. Oh well, 
what can you do?